Hello and welcome to the Freedom Spotlight. Here at the Freedom Spotlight, we try to bring you the greatest parts of freedom in a short episode every month. Now we don't have enough time in the year to highlight everything we love about freedom, but we come to you with the most important events. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. something you weren't supposed to. We have two rolls here. First roll, give me your phones, no phones. Great. Second roll, you cannot speak unless spoken to. I'm Bryson, this is Jack, and that's Noah. He realizes that the shell of an egg is made of calcium carbonate, and when you place the egg into the vinegar, it makes bubbles. And this is the chemical reaction of the acid in the vinegar reacting with the calcium carbonate, and this produces carbon dioxide. We left it all weekend, and now we're going to peel it, and hopefully it's clear. As you can see, peeling the egg worked, and now we're going to try to bounce it. So overall, this went okay. But it turns out the egg isn't as durable as it seemed, and bouncing it from higher heights turned out it popped. And we think if you soak it for longer, then it would work. But other than that, it didn't go very well. We recommend you try it. What's Happening in the Wild by Lucas Bradle, Anna Majors, Eddie Simon, and Noah Carney. Upcoming big game hunting seasons. Archery bear starts statewide October 3rd. Archery deer starts statewide October 2nd. Muzzleloader deer starts statewide October 16th. Flintlock deer starts statewide December 27th. Rifle deer and rifle bear both start no November 27th. Upcoming bird hunting seasons. Pheasant season statewide starts October 23rd. Duck season statewide starts October 9th. And here are some pictures and videos from this hunting season. Different pieces of wax that's called heat. 
kid called the Menon uh, when it comes in the winter. Okay. What do, what do you still want to know about the bees? Um, of, uh, nothing. Oh, okay. What's your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part is learning how much money uh, bees can apparently make you. Okay. What was your least favorite? Uh, probably when we got to hold the pictures. Okay, what was your least what did you learn about the bees? Um, I learned that when a honeybee stings you, it'll die. Okay. What do you still want to learn about the bees? I want to know more about how they uh, bring queens into colonies that don't have queens and how they basically rescue them from them. Okay. Okay, what are your students learning right now in science? We are learning about plants and biomes, and that's part of the reason that we had Pastor Christman come in and talk to us about honeybees because we have our pollinators. And of course, everybody knows that I love my monarchs, so our monarchs are pollinators also. We had several that have come out of their chrysalises and we were able, able to tag them and release them yesterday. And we have another one to tag and release today. Huh? So a bunch of them are gonna be coming out in the next few days. So we're also learning about the process of pollination and integrated pest management. Okay. Why did you get Pastor Christman to come and teach the students about bees? Honeybees are endangered, or threatened I should say, they're not actually endangered, they're threatened. But they are one of our biggest pollinators. So without our honeybees, our food supply is going to be decimated. Um, having them here on campus is a little bit tricky, so instead of being able to be up close and personal with them here, this is a great way he brings them enclosed so we can see them in a little capsule. He has a great knowledge because he is a beekeeper. So he is able to tell us things that we might not just, instead of reading in a book, we have somebody who's actually here showing us the bees, how, how they work, how the hive works. So we get a little bit more of an um, introspect on them with somebody who's an expert. Okay, and what was one thing you wanted the students to learn about the bees? The importance of our pollinators, because so many people are afraid of bees. They want to, you know, kill them when they see them, and we actually need them. What was kind of neat is while we were out there, we had honeybees coming into our pumpkins, which he was very excited about because apparently honeybees aren't just sort of wild everywhere. Most of our honeybees that we see are somebody's from their hive. So he suspects that somebody within a few mile range of here also has a hive, and they're coming to our garden to pollinate, which is kind of cool because I didn't know that. So I learned something new that day too. Wait, all right, let's do it. What? Oh, that's a wall! No, it's not the wall. Wait. Why are you still Help, 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 help. That was dumb. You missed your-